In the previous video, we set up simple camera movement. In this video, we're going to be setting up a resource system. So I'm just going to create a new canvas. This is going to be for our game stuff, our game information. I'm just going to call this game info canvas like this. I'm going to set it to scale with screen size. So I'm going to choose 1920 by 1080p like this. And then I'm going to create a new text mesh pro element. I'm going to import TMP essentials like that and then Visual Studio Reloaded, and then we should go into 2D mode. I'm just going to set this to the top left, or top right, I mean. I'm just going to align that to the right, and I'm just going to do that, and I can just say resource is is equal to zero, zero, 0 by default. I'm going to expand this out just a tad bit so it has some room to work with, but we're also going to make it scale auto size by default. I want the minimum size to actually be 36, like that. Actually, the max size needs to be 36. The minimum needs to be, let's just say one, like that, so it works with the scale it has. So, that's pretty much it for the text element. We have to create a new script and just call it game. Let's just call this script something like resources. Like this, let Visual Studio reload. And then we can open it up in Visual Studio. And then we have to be using PM Pro like this. And then we want to just say public text mesh pro text mesh pro user interface thing. And then we can just say resource text. Now this forms a tight couple, so if the resource text was deleted, you'd get a bunch of null reference errors. I'm not going to worry about that for now because it's just a singular script, but in, later down the line where we're making building systems and, and things, we are going to incorporate some pretty good programming practices. So every, we actually have to create a number another public variable. Let's just call this current resources like that. And by default, I'm just going to set it to 500. And actually on the awake function, for some reason, I'm having indention issues. Oh, public float current resources. That, or you could make it in it. I'm actually going to make it in it because I don't want decimal places. And then in the awake, we could just say current resources is equal to 500. Or you could make your own public variable to control the start resources like that. For example, you could just go public and start resources and just say equal to 500. And then we could just say equal to the start resources like this. And then every update function or fixed update or you could create your own tick system. I recommend Code Monkey's video on creating a tick system. You could update your resource tech. I'm just going to use fixed update because it happens, it's a lot more consistent than update. And I'm just going to say resource text dot text is equal to resources. And then we can say plus the current resources dot to string like that. And then we can attach the script to whatever you want to. I'm probably going to attach it to a game manager just so it's more easily accessible so i'm just going to create a new empty and call it game manager manager like this i'm actually going to move it to the very top along with the camera parent and then i'm just going to drag the resources onto it and then choose the text mesh pro gui this and then once we press play we can see that properly displays our resource text and i can drag the current resources around and it updates properly okay so an easy way to add resources right now is to just create a reference to the resources script and we're not actually going to do that later down the line i mean we might because this project is still open to change i haven't finalized anything but we might actually create an event and the resources script could subscribe to that event and update the current resources live but again this is still a concept so if you want to give this a try i recommend game dev guides video on building a custom event system in the next video we'll talk about how to create a building system for example we could have like some ui at the bottom that says like building one and building two and then once we click on it it creates a go and then once we click down it places the building down and takes some resources away so i'll meet you in the next video